Welcome. This is the fourth video in the mini series on merchandise distribution S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management. In this video, we will explain recipient driven or pull based cross docking. Let us look at some of the benefits of pull based or recipient driven cross docking. The process allows you to combine requirements from multiple stores into one collective purchase order. It reduces material handling efforts and the time needed for goods passing through the DC. As a consequence, you can reduce delivery times and enable higher customer satisfaction. Let us look at the basics of pull based cross docking. If you have not already done so, we recommend you to view episode 1 in this mini series. It provides an overview of the four main merchandise distribution methods in S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management. Pull or recipient driven distribution is planned using a collective purchase order. In this case, issue documents, sales or stock transport orders already exist for the recipient. Collective purchase orders containing totals per article and distribution center are created as procurement documents. You use a collective purchase order to combine multiple recipients' requirements in the system, such as sales orders or stock transport orders, to create a single order for a supplier. In traditional cross-docking, goods are ordered and delivered from the supplier in a logistics unit not repacked between goods receipt and goods issue. It's time to prepare for a demo. In our demo, we run a small retail chain. Our distribution center, R101 is located in Frankfurt. We have two stores, R112, located in Saarbrücken, and R113, located in Mainz. For simplicity, we will use one product only, MRMDCDART1. Pull-based flow-through consists of both a planning phase and an execution phase, each with several process steps. We will take you through both phases, step by step, utilizing several different Fury apps. Let us get going. We will kick off by creating the pull, or in other words, the recipient-driven demand. Since our stores are part of the same company code, we can do so, by creating a stock transport order for a quantity of 25 units of our product, the MRMDDCART1, from our DC to our store in Zarbrücken, R112. With one stock transport order created, we repeat the process for our second store, R113, located in Mainz. Same product and the same quantity. In the DC, a collective purchase order is created as a procurement document by adding up the quantities in the STOs for each article and distribution center, in our case, only one of each. When collective purchase orders are created, the system also updates distribution data and assigns the procurement documents to the STO documents. We complete the last step in the planning phase by performing a goods receipt for our newly created purchase order. It was delivered in full with 50 units. We are now entering the execution phase. After goods receipt, the distribution can be adjusted in the merchandise distribution monitor. Adjustments are made according to the goods receipt documents. Since our inbound delivery was delivered in full, no real quantity adjustments are needed. We are, therefore, ready to create outbound deliveries. We do so through the monitor. We check the delivery numbers. For our demo, we will need them later. To get the outbound delivery done, we use the Pick Outbound Delivery app to perform the picking and the goods issue. We pick from our cross dock storage location. We confirm quantity in full before performing the actual goods issue. Please bear in mind that most of these process steps will be automated and run in the background in real life. For demo purposes, we do it here in a stepwise approach. Like now, when we also perform goods issue manually for the second outbound delivery. As an optional step, we will do a quick check of the store's current stock level. We do this just before we perform the final step, the receipt of the goods in stores. We use the stock, 
multiple materials app and see that both stores currently have 9 units of MRM DCDART1 in stock. We will finalize the process by performing goods receipt in the stores. We use the receive goods app. Since we will be performing the goods receipt for both stores, we will need to select store R112 before we use the outbound delivery number noted earlier. We receive in full. 25 units. We change to our second store, R113. We use the other delivery number and receive the goods also here. In full, with 25 units. With this, we have completed our pull-based cross-dock process. Before we end the demo, we will confirm that everything is as expected by revisiting the stock, multiple materials app. As foreseen, the stock levels have increased from 9 to 34. Mission accomplished. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management, on-premise in the cloud. It is also available in SAP ECC Retail with a different user experience. This video is part of a mini-series of five episodes covering the main variants of merchandise distribution and S4 HANA Retail for Merchandise Management. Let us recap some of the benefits of pull-based or recipient-driven cross-docking. The process allows you to combine requirements from multiple stores into one collective purchase order. It reduces material handling efforts and the time needed for goods passing through the DC. As a consequence, you can reduce delivery times and enable higher customer satisfaction. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.